annual Starlight Children's Foundation Gala, and this year's theme is inspired by 1920s glamour, fusing everything from chandeliers, feathers, and even pearls with the humble idea of giving back. My Block TO brings you all the highlights from the star-studded purple carpet. We're really excited to be here because we're getting all our supporters in one room to share the magic of Starlight. So Starlight's all about brightening the lives of seriously ill children and their families. We do that in so many incredible ways, whether it's wish granting, our Great Escapes program, where we take children on, on wonderful outings. And this event is our signature gala. It's the 20th annual Starlight Gala with the, the presenting sponsor, Toys R Us. Uh, Toys R Us is a phenomenal sponsor for us across the country. They raise close to $2 million for us every year. And this is a night of celebration, happiness. We're going to hear some sad stories, we're going to hear some happy stories, and hopefully by the end of the night everybody's going to go home and they're going to grab their children and hug them a little bit tighter yeah. and just realize what's important in life. When we have our health, we have everything. So excited to have you guys here at the Starlight Gala. What brings you out tonight? Oh man, well actually it's just for the charity, you know. We love kids and we love helping out and to be a part of such a great charitable thing like this, you know, we're just honored to be involved and help out. We were just talking about this, the song VIPs talked about how important everybody is and I think Starlight really focuses on that and, you know, it reaches out to, to the people who need it. My sister, when she was 14, she went through uh, through cancer treatments and uh, and Starlight stepped in with Make-A-Wish Foundation as well and, and helped her get through it and, and now she's helping out, volunteering where she can, so it's, it's, it's given her uh, some motivation to, to help, you know, beat cancer. Well, I think it, obviously everything needs funds. I mean, that's the basic <laughs> when you come down to the bottom of it all, that uh, to provide services, to provide trips, to provide uh, toys and things in hospitals, then donate as much as people can. who just recently received a Juno Award. Tell us how you bring the 1920s glamour to the purple carpet. You know what, I'm a girl who wears a lot of black. Um, I brought my glamour with a little bit of this, a little bit of that, I just do me. Huh? And then uh, this is definitely me. I think the hair definitely works. <laughs> <with that>. <laughs> the <laughs> curls are everywhere. There you go. It's a curl explosion. What I love about the foundation is that they, they support the experiences the children have, not just the illness, and that's what I love about it. So I'm here. Every year the Starlight uh, uh, Foundation puts on this, this gala, it's, it's always an amazing event. It's always a, an amazing night. It's the, it's the hottest ticket in town. To be here to, to help out kids in need, my, my, my heart goes out to these, these kids, you know, that are suffering, that are dealing with these hardships in their lives. And what Starlight does is they see these kids and they see what they're dealing with and they just want them to experience their childhood as, as regular kids aside from what they're going through at the hospitals and with the medication and these serious conditions. So they bring the fun back, they bring the magic back and to be a part of this event, it's, like I said, it was a no-brainer. I'm, I'm honored to be here. This is a foundation for children. I have a 10-year-old daughter, so I can, I can definitely relate. And I love that they uh, not just give money for you know, the, the uh, children's illness, but they actually give for like, to take them out on fun experiences. You know? So I, I love that. Kids are still kids, right? We're here at the Starlight Foundation Gala, and I want to know how do you guys bring the 1920s glamour to the purple carpet tonight? Uh, just by wearing a really great tuxedo. That's what I'm doing right now. And, you kept and, it very simple. Yeah, ex yeah, well, I figured that'd be the best way. Keep yeah. it simple and, uh, you know, I can't, I can't compete I mean, it's the 20th this. anniversary, yeah. so that's something you're proud of for Starlight, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, um, and yeah. you wear the perfect dress I don't know if it, it's so it much works. 20s or <laughs> Tina Turner. <laughs> How do you bring the 1920s inspired style to the purple carpet tonight? Oh, well, let's see. Um, I'm wearing 1920s clothing. Uh, I didn't shave my legs. I think that was like one of the progressive <laughs> feminist things they did in the 20s. And uh, yeah, I just am so excited to be here. I'm here because I, I love Toronto. I love, I think the Starlight Foundation is amazing. I heard so much about Make-A-Wish when I was a kid, which is I guess it's American sort of. Uh, equivalent, but I think it's amazing that the Starlight is growing and to have people here raising money is so brilliant. We're here with the 
sultry songstress Nikki Yunafsky, who just joined us at the Starlight Gala. Nikki, what brings you here tonight? Um, the amazing cause that is the Starlight Gala. I'm really excited to be here. I've always loved like partaking in charities that I really believe in, and I just think it's such an amazing cause for everyone to come together to support. How do you bring that 1920s glamour to the purple carpet tonight? You know what? I think the coolest thing about 1920s glamour is that it's almost timeless in a way, and it always comes back. And the silhouettes were very cool back then. I want to take kind of like a modern take on it. When their kids are in families or in hospital, it's they're always concentrating on okay, what what are the prognosis? What's going to happen? Um, and sometimes that good old therapy of just distraction and having fun, smiles, laughter—that's best medicine. And that's kind of what the Starlight Foundation does, as they provide that distraction so that kids can be like kids. for the 20th anniversary for the Starlight Children's Foundation Gala. Until next time, I'm your host, Narisha Batata.